So this is this is uh, fencing, huh? You guys do fencing? Yes, this is a uh, Hema historical European martial arts. Oh wow! Yeah, so it's not your standard. Oh, it's, it's not fencing. It's something else. It, it is fencing, but we're using. The ancient time thing. Oh, it might come in handy. World War Three. We got. We got to fight uh, uh, zombies. The zombies or the uh, or, yeah. or um, Al Qaeda or somebody. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, they come out. Of they say, yeah, they say the end. The end of the days will be everyone will be on horseback and we fighting. The Bible says, yeah, we'll be on horses. I'll totally do. Oh, then we'll be ready, hopefully. Yeah, you guys <laughs> be the A team. Yeah, my. This is a primary weapon. Oh, this is a primary weapon? What we primarily study. Oh, this thing's heavy. It's like a baseball bat. It's a two-handed weapon. Two-handed weapon. It's a little bit, it's about three or four pounds. Yeah. You gotta do a lot of, I don't know, how, how do you, you, you go, is it on horseback? Nope. Just standard. Standard, yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, you're skilled, yeah. So, simple stuff. What's it, what's it called? This would be longsword. Longsword, yeah. Just, this is an actual longsword. And what's the name of the martial arts called? Uh, HEMA, Historical European Martial Arts. HEMA? Yes. H-E-M-A? Mm -hmm. Wow. Historical European Martial Arts. What we specifically study is Kunst Effectus. Kunst Effectus. an hour style art of, art of fighting. Wow. So. Yeah, I'm just I'm doing like a Hillhauser uh, California Gold here. <laughs> Wanna be deal here. They're yeah. gonna be sparring in just a minute. Oh, they're gonna uh, be sparring. I'll try to catch some of that. Yeah, they're gonna be doing a steel saber. It looks like. Steel saber. Yeah. Uh, are you guys doing Polish? Yeah. I'm doing Polish. 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 All right. You guys, they are you it? British? Yeah. Hutton style? Uh, Roll Wars, I think. Okay. Wow. They, they make. Uh, we'll find out, I guess. They're going at it, huh? I'm trying to get some of the action over here. These guys are about to go at it. Okay. I know those poles are heavy. That's got to hurt. They get hit. One behind me in the back. Ten point must system up. Like baseball bats, ain't no joke. You guys are pretty good, huh? They're okay. They're okay. <laughs> You're the instructor? Uh, just, uh, I've been here a little longer. No, yeah. Only. You're a little more skilled than these guys? If, if most people are gone, then I'll teach, but normally I don't. Yeah. Because I haven't been here that long, but. Yeah. I'm impressed. I've never seen this before. Uh, it's, it's been undergoing a recent revival, so it's... Yeah, I saw you guys at her last year, I think. Yeah. Um, because most of these arts have been dead for a long time, so... They're getting revived, huh? That's good. Um, is there a competition to them? Yeah, our club hosts an hosts annual competition, SoCal Sword Fight. What's the difference between this and fencing? 
Uh, modern, this is, they called it HEMA, but a simpler term is historical fencing. So yeah. modern fencing del is based off of, um, modern fencing is based off of Victorian era swordplay, but it's very artificial in that it's very sport oriented and it's lost touch with reality. Yeah. Uh, if you see in modern uh, Olympic fencing, uh, whoever stabs each other like point two seconds before the other person wins by the electronic scoring machine. Yeah. But um, if they, if they, ex for example, stab to the foot, which is a valid target in foil fencing, if they s stab in the foot and they get stabbed in the face, the person who stabbed the person in the foot is considered the winner. But from a martial perspective, that's suicide. Yeah. Um, yeah, so it's out in the street, you need to go high. So they're fencing with what's typical for 19th century gymnasium sabers. Um, and in modern fencing, they do have a uh, saber also, but it's it weighs much less than that. Um, in order to deliver a proper martially valid cut, you need to rotate what's, what's called a moulinet, where you rotate with the wrist, and yeah. you have to chamber your cut so it delivers enough uh, momentum to actually sever through flesh. But in the modern saber, they just do little, any little tap will set the, the scoring machine off, but that's not uh, realistic. Yeah, it's not realistic. So. Those are heavy, what, like 60 ounces? They're way, way more than a baseball bat. What's heavy? The, the sword you gave me to hold. Uh, which one? The, the long one. Long sword? Long swords, the, our fetters weigh about three and a half pounds. Yeah. But that's, a lot lighter than that's a lot lighter than people think they tend to be and uh, Japanese swords are about the same weight. Three and a half pounds should... that's 54 ounces right? No a baseball bat weighs about 30 34. Yeah but ours are weighted towards the hilt so they they handle more nimbly than a baseball bat. Weighs, yeah. So it's not just weight, it's the weight distribution, weight distribution that makes yeah. a big difference. Because a baseball bat is weighted towards the end. Uh, swords, swords want to be weighted more towards the hilt. Interesting. So they're more nimble. Yeah. Cool. Well, thanks for sharing, buddy.